Hi guys, today I will be unboxing ATs. This is their new mini album, Zero Fever Part 3. I do have all types here, green, orange, and blue. I believe the version names are A, Diary, and Z, I think so. I believe last time too, they, they made the Diary version in the middle because they do connect on the backs. So I will show that very quickly. It doesn't fit on my desk to keep them like this, as you can see. So um, that's the fronts, but when you turn them over, it does connect on the backs. So that's why I put them in that order. <laughs> that's what it looks like. I will lift my camera a little bit so you can see it better. Oh, there you go. As you can see, my table is like, it's at the very edge, so it just barely fits. So yeah, that's the um, versions here. So we will go through the green one first. Oh wait, I didn't even I didn't even show it, but I um, ordered this from K Town for you. So of course I got the K Town for you cards. So here they are. The backs are blue. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you. I'm not sure. I've seen the cards already, but I'm not sure which one I'm going to flip first. So we got a San photo card. I really do like this lip ring on him. I don't normally pull San that often, so yep, yeah. <laughs> nice nice change to get him. And the second one I got is my favorite boy. More like I'm his favorite person. I got uh, my boy Hong Jung. I, as you guys know, it's not a Katie unboxing. It is not a Shao Zenal unboxing of ATs if I do not pull a Hong Jung photo card. So yes, we got that. And then the very last card I got is, you know, and I cannot express how happy I am about this. He is my second bias and he's literally i'm not even joking he is like this close to becoming my bias like literally i love him so much so i am so very happy on pulling his card let me just show the cards oh weird oh, okay i don't know why i was expecting them to be matte for some reason and they're not but anyways that is you know's card it is so pretty i am so happy with that card he and here is home june's card his um orange hair is very cute very adorable and then we got San's card. This lip ring though. Are you guys seeing this lip ring? <laughs> he looks so different also in this hair. Like when when he first, well, when I first saw the him in this hair, he looked almost unrecognizable. He looks so different. But yeah, he does look very good. So yeah, those were my uh, k Town for You cards. I also did buy copies from NMT because of course I had to. Okay, enough blabbing. Let's uh, get into the unboxing. So. We will go through the green one first, the version A. That's the front cover and the back. I like the design a lot actually on the outside. Also, I like how consistent um, KQ is with AT's album packaging. It's either that um, square box or this rectangle box. Okay, there we go. And it's a very nice quality box. I do love, I do love box style, and especially if it's this nice quality. So, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! The C. I knew it. I thought I, like, heard the CD fumbling around in there. So that totally came off the little holder thing, <laughs> the CD holder. That's okay. Let's put that right back on. And yeah, we're not going to look at all this stuff here. The cards were underneath the photo book, so I just remove those and everything else so let's go through the photo book that's the front cover and the back uh, should i zoom in i think it's fine don't need, don't need to zoom in you can see it fine Ooh, look how bright this is i feel like they did that with their last comeback too they had like super dark photo shoots and then a really bright concept <laughs> this oh i love this cardigan actually Literally, Songwon looks so good this era. I'm loving this hair on him. Anyways, I really want to talk about this this era, this comeback in general. Oh my god, you know, he's so cute. <laughs> I, I really dislike bucket hats, but I am telling you right now, he looks so cute in that bucket hat. Oh my gosh. Anyways, okay, let me just talk about this comeback. So they allowed the fans to choose the title track again, and it was between Deja Vu and Eternal Sunshine. When I first literally, okay, I feel like it's Yeosang's era, honestly. Did you guys see that one performance where he like lifted his shirt and like his abs showed and he was just overall very rude? 
yeah that killed us all i think anyways um i'm getting distracted way too much like i'm always distracted by ats's visuals man <laughs> anyways okay let me just finish what i was saying so when i first heard deja vu and eternal sunshine i instantly loved both like equally it was so hard for me to just choose which one i like slightly more than the other maybe i was like i literally can't choose both of them are title track worthy i would be happy with either one oh young <laughs> she is so cute he's always so cute um but yeah i was like extremely happy with both like when i first heard the little snippets little tiny spoiler so you can hear what the title track is going to be so you can choose which one you want as the title i saw a lot of people prefer deja vu and honestly at the time when i first heard both is that like a waterfall in the back that's so pretty oh my god home gym looks so good literally they're all killing it okay this photo book is absolutely gorgeous <laughs> oh i don't think it's a waterfall it just looks like a waterfall it looks like almost um like saran wrap <laughs> anyways okay so oh he looks so cute here literally the visuals are pulling through in this photo book and here i am again oh my god Songwa. literally i cannot i cannot finish my sentence like can i please literally he is not allowing me to finish my sentence he's too pretty for this world but anyways okay i will finish it now so i heard both songs and at the time i was like you know what i'm not even going to vote because i will be extremely happy with either song as the title track. Both of them sounded like a song I would be obsessed with. So I was like, we'll let a teeny choose the title and see which one wins. And um, I did see a lot of people prefer Deja Vu. I have seen a few people pick Eternal Sunshine, but um, literally, are, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Anyways, oh my god, I can't even freaking... By the time I'm done this photo book, I won't even... I won't even finish like the first topic of this video but and also these outfits they're so nice i really like the whole vibe in this i love the vibe in this photo book it's simply beautiful literally what is he sitting on though what it okay oops um okay i literally where did i even leave off yes a lot of people preferred deja vu which is totally fine it is such an amazing title so of course that one won because i i just have seen a lot of people favoring that one. Oh my god, William looks so freaking good. Are you serious? Also, it's so nice to have Mingi back in the group. I missed him. It, it was like weird without him, so it's nice to see him back with the group. Oh my god, he looks so good too. <laughs> I'm getting distracted by these really handsome men. Actually, you know what? I'm going to zoom in just a tiny little- whoa, that's way too much. Okay, I zoomed in a little bit. I think this is better. Anyways, oh my gosh, I literally- <laughs> At this point, I'm, I'm never going to finish this this um, topic. Why am I saying topic like it's a school subject? And so then Deja Vu won as the title, and I was like, of course, happy with that because it's such an amazing song. And the music video was just fantastic. They looked so good in the music video, and it, it just was the icing on the cake, like with such an amazing music video. And vocals also pulled through. Literally, Jungwoo's vocals, I can, I, it's, it always amazes me so much. Every time I listen to his live vocals, I cannot ever get over it because he has such an amazing voice. He's such, like, dude, really, he's so freaking talented. And I feel like he's kind of underrated as a vocalist. Like, if anyone ever chooses, like, all time best K pop vocalist, I feel like he's never on the list. He honestly should be near the top. He's seriously, it's just unbelievable. Anyways, oh my gosh, I'm not even going to finish my topic. We're literally at the end of the at the photo book. I will I promise I will continue because I'm not even done what I was talking about. I will continue this in the next photo book because we, we have reached the end here. So or maybe I can finish talking about it when I go through these postcards, which I'm pretty sure is what these are over here. Okay. So um what is this hat though? It's very interesting. Okay, so we got the- oh, here's the track list. So, Eternal Sunshine, amazing. I can't even put into words how much I like that song. So I think my favorite B-side, I think might be Rocky. That one's really good. And I also like this song too, Not Too Late. That one's really good. So I think it's between those two. ATs don't really miss with their B-sides. I'm always very um, excited to listen to their albums because I remember when their first album dropped, their first mini, I was so- impressed with b-sides and that was also a reason why i really got into ats like not only did they have really um catchy and unique titles 
but their b-sides were fantastic so yes <laughs> they really did blow me away at their debut remember me unboxing their debut album i literally knew nothing about the group i didn't even really know the members at all i didn't i didn't know any of the members at all but i was so intrigued by their debut I had to get the album and I'm so glad I did honestly because there was a time where their albums went out of print and I was just thinking to myself man I'm so glad that I started collecting them when they first debuted so that's the stickers so yeah honestly Stan 80s guys <laughs> they're so talented too literally okay one of these I feel like is not a photo card what is this yeah this is the universe thing so so there's two photo cards first one let's see what we got I will not be shocked if I pull a bunch of Hong Joon photo cards. I just will not be. <gasps> wow, my first like album photo card pull is Young. Nice. Oh my gosh, I love him. That's such a cute card too. Eee. <laughs> very happy with that. He's very adorable. Okay, and the second one is. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> he used to be my bias. I cannot complain with this. I mean, I feel like he he buys wrecks everyone, doesn't he? Well, I'm I'm stunned by this photo card. It's he's just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> All right, so we got Young and Songwa as my photo cards. We love to see that. Next, let's go through the orange one, which is apparently the um, diary version. That's the back. Oh, is that denting? No, it's like a little bit of a mark. I can probably clean that off, maybe. <laughs> Wait, did I mention that I bought? Yeah, I did. I mentioned it in the very beginning. I did buy copies from MMT because usually MMT does really pretty photo cards for 80s. Like, I feel like especially for their, um, which album was it? It was, I think it was, it was their album with the title track Inception. That album, was it the beginning of the Fever series? I think it was. That album, they had like the prettiest MMT photo cards. Oh my god, so yes okay at least the cd was intact here didn't fall off the cd holder foam thing okay photo cards have been removed okay what is that no, okay ignore this chip in my desk i know it's very annoying or my table it's very annoying for me <laughs> but nothing i can do about the chip in the desk okay let's oh yeah let's finish what i was saying finally so <laughs> Oh my gosh, like, will I finish that topic? Who knows? This is cute. Okay, no, we're not gonna just, we're not gonna comment randomly on their style. We're gonna finish what I was saying. So, Deja Vu 1 is the title, as I said, what, like, three or four times now. And I was very happy with it. And the more I listened to both the titles, Deja Vu and Eternal Sunshine, the more I was thinking how much Eternal Sunshine slaps, like, literally there is something about that song oh my god why is you know in orange like so freaking cute <laughs> the way i love him boop so cute and he just looks so huggable in this this like what is this like a sweater crew neck thing he's wearing Ooh, those those jeans are very interesting but i would still hug him <laughs> okay let me finish no i think i basically concluded what i was saying so yeah what i was trying to get at was the more I listened to both titles, the more I think I actually prefer one over the other and it's Eternal Sunshine just slightly more than Deja Vu. Even though it didn't win as the title track, I- oh, his little dimple. It's very adorable. Um, boop. Sorry. Okay, we're done with that. I'm happy with either one as the title, so Deja Vu definitely did deserve to be the title, but I would not be mad if Eternal Sunshine was the title because there, you know, I feel it in my bones how great that song is. Like, I just feel this tingly, sparkly, wonderful feeling inside my soul when I listen to Eternal Sunshine. There's something about that song that, like, hits different for me. I don't know. I, I think it just fits, like, my music taste. Oh my god, he looks very cute. So adorable. But, okay, there's something about idols in simple, plain hoodies that is, like, I just love it. I don't know why. This camera reminds me of when I went to Disneyland for the first time in, I think it was like 2009, I think so. I was, what was I? I was like, wait, no, I think it was before 2009. I think it was like 2007 or 8. Anyways, you know, I can't, I can't even remember the year now. But anyways, um, it was back when like cameras and iPhones and stuff weren't a thing. So 
My parents allowed me and my brother to get one of those like instant cameras. To this day, I will never know how the pictures turned out. I will never know what the pictures were that I took. I'll, I'll just never know. But I do remember like when I bought the camera, it was from one of those gift shops and like where you can buy like a bunch of like Disney merch. And I bought, well, I guess my parents bought me this super cute stitch. Like it was a baby stitch wrapped in like a baby blanket. I still have it to this day. Sometimes I have it sitting on my bed and you can see it in the back of my videos when I film face videos. I love when idols pose with dogs or any kind of animal. I don't know why it's, it's extra cute. Okay, this black hair on Songwa is a yes for me. It is a yes. I much prefer his black hair than any other color. <laughs> I think black just suits him, but I think red hair on Yuno is such a look. Actually, anything on him looks good. He is, like, so handsome. <laughs> He's, like, every time I see him, I just, like, want to run up to him and hug him. Like, all of AT's, man. So visually pleasing. And very, very talented. <laughs> I feel like, um, I interrupted myself so much. I, I never, ever finished any of my sentences. Any of my topics I never finished. They, I never concluded what I was talking about. But whatever. It's so nice to have Mingi back. Literally, it was so weird not having him in the last comeback. Okay, I'm loving this hair on um, Uyung. I don't know what it is about the mixed blonde and black that I love so much. Uh, I'm just obsessed with it. Like, you know, Ranjin did it from NCT Dream. And I'm like, I'm so sad he doesn't have that hair anymore because it was iconic. And if any other idol did it, I would be very happy because it's it's something different. <laughs> I just love it. Anyways, um, but yeah, this whole unboxing was just me talking about something and mentioning the same stuff over and over, but never really finishing what I was saying. I, I feel like I do that way too much. I get so into it and then I get distracted and then I don't finish what I was saying. Whatever. It's cool. I like these, um, these, uh, like, white shirts with the jeans. Nice. We like that they're all matching. Although Songwa did not get the memo on wearing, like, darker color jeans. He didn't get the memo, but that's okay. That is Songwa, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so that was the diary version. Oh, okay, thank God it was only this. <laughs> it was like, the photo card went flying. It was just that universe card, so we're good. Literally, that Instax, like instant Instax, or is that what it's called? Just the in instant camera. Literally, how I don't understand how one can be this perfect looking. I don't get it, but okay. It's not fair. It's really not fair. This orange, like orange sweater thing. <laughs> it's so cute. It matches this concept. Whoops. But yeah, those um, cameras, it's crazy. Like, you'll never be able to see the photos unless you go and get them developed. And I'm sad I never did that when I went to Disneyland for the first time. Because I, I really want to see what pictures I took, man. <laughs> Mingi, oh my god, he is so sweet. It was weird without him, it really was. I'm glad that he is all good. He is back. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain. It's like hitting against my, like... Thing. I'm in a basement, so you know that, like, uh, I don't know what it's called, but the rain keeps hitting it because it's, like, metal. Anyways, that is the stickers. Okay, okay all that's left is the photo cards, so let's bring out this one again. Let's see who we got. We, oh, that's cute. We got a San photo card. It's so funny because in their last album, I bought, like, three sets of albums so that's like nine albums and i pulled a zero sand photo cards and he was the only member i didn't pull so we like this we like this um glow up from my not pulling sand era <laughs> okay okay is this facing up no it's down okay all right oh is one of these limited and one of them is not like they did last time possibly that's the back we got oh nice i got a minky photo card that's such a cute card too yay so at least we got something of his because i obviously pulled nothing of him last era because <laughs> he wasn't a part of that comeback so yay and i'm liking all the different members i'm pulling so far so that's good okay very last album is the zed version the blue one 
front and back. And yes, I'm Canadian. We do not say Z here. <laughs> no one says Z. It's pronounced Z. It's even weird for me to say Z. <laughs> I know some people get taken aback when I say Z. They're like, what the heck is that? And then they're like, oh wait, I just remembered. You're from Canada. <laughs> say it differently. Okay. CD. Blue CD. Man, I still have like a bunch of trades to open up after this video. Thankfully, I'm kind of in a talkative mood, so I honestly should film that. But I literally filmed so much back to back already. Very last photo book for this video. I will update in a haul video what my photo card pull. Oh, did you see? Did you see that? Um, I will update in a haul video the photo cards I get from my MMT albums. Of course, the MMT photo cards as well as the album pulls. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked I have not pulled any home June so far. I mean, I did pull his K Town for you card, so at, le at least that. Oh my God, he looks so good here. Ooh, and those leather pants too. Dude is killing it. That top too. Wow. Ooh, killing the game. Was there something else? Oh yeah, I don't know. Did they do something with Make Star? If they did, oh my God, stop it. What? How? Okay. Well, we're not gonna get too distracted from this um unboxing but or from these photos but if they did do something with make star and their hollow cards i kind of want to get it <laughs> like imagine owning a hollow 80s cards how pretty would that be Ooh, this concept though damn his eyes yo these these photos are stunning oh my gosh killing the game Dude, wow. I'm loving the blue aesthetics in this and the water aesthetics. Wow, this water photo shoot. I love looking at water photo shoots, but what is in his mouth? The shot turned out beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, I love looking at water photo shoots, but if I had to do a water photo shoot, I would not be too happy because I do not like water. I mean, I like water, but I don't like being in it. So I don't like swimming. Oh, I would not be happy with this. I don't mind being in water if it's like this. Basically, I just don't like swimming. That's the only thing. <laughs> not a big swimmer. If I was invited to a swimming party or a, sw a swim pool party, a pool party, that's the word, a pool party, I wouldn't want to go. <laughs> not big on that. But these water photo shoots, I'm all about though. <laughs> all about it. I Still think though, I think the first one is my favorite so far. I really liked the bright atmosphere in that and I liked their bright outfits. And um, yeah, I just liked how bright it was. This is stunning though. It is very stunning. It is much darker. Ooh, I love these ribbon like choker necklaces. <laughs> love it. But um, yeah, I do like the dark water aesthetics to this. But um, I still think the first one is my favorite. Which one do you guys like? Ooh, oh wow, I love this ear piercing. That is so cool. Love that. Also, the uh, highlights in Yosang's hair is so cute. <laughs> I'm really hoping for my photo cards in this album that I pull members, like other members. Like, I just really love pulling a, a wide variety of members if I don't collect the group, you know? Like, I don't mind pulling all the same members if I collect the group. Like, if I collect all the members, it wouldn't matter to me. But I don't collect ATs, so I, I just like to... I still keep their cards, but I like to obviously pull a wide variety of members then. So, um, yeah, if I could just pull some other members that I haven't pulled yet, that'd be nice. I have not pulled any Jomo. I usually tend to pull his cards, so, like, usually him and Hongjoon, I feel like I pull the most. Well, most definitely Hongjoon, we all know that. <laughs> there hasn't been a single, well, I was gonna say, there has been a single ATs unboxing of mine where I didn't pull his card, but there has been. I did not pull his card in their last album in my unboxing. I did eventually pull it, but not in the unboxing. Oh, no, wait, but their debut album, I pulled San, so, you know what, never mind. <laughs> Yes, it's funny. I pulled San. Like, he was the first member I ever pulled for 80s. And then after that, he was like, nope. All right, last set of postcards, which are going to be very gorgeous. So, I mean, if you're watching this and you would like to purchase 
an 80s album from me in the future. <laughs> I guess um, keep a, keep an eye out for my Instagram. But, oh my god, you know, holy freaking crap. Oh my god, he's he's doing something. He's really doing something for me. Yeah, he's doing everything. Everything right. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, the amount of songs, like K-pop songs called Deja Vu, like Dreamcatcher, NCT Dream, probably like at least five other groups that have that song name. <laughs> Basically any song called Deja Vu is like, like a confirmed bop, honestly. But, um, I, I don't even know what I was just saying before this. I don't. But Mingyu looks really good. <laughs> I think I remember when I was, went through ATS's debut album when I kn when I knew nothing about the members. I think I was like um, pretty wrecked by Mingi. I think someone said that they think either Wuyung or Mingi will be my bias. Like I do remember loving all over Mingi in the debut album unboxing. Yes, I do remember that. It's so funny how I knew nothing about the group when I first unboxed them because I really did not. They literally just debuted. I loved their debut. And I was like, I have to get this, but unfortunately, I don't know anything about this group. All I know is that I love their music. So I knew nothing about them. And here we are today. <laughs> I went through like four different biases, honestly. <laughs> like, okay. Anyways, where's that universe card? Is that this? Yeah, it's much thinner. So, all right. Let's see who we got for this one. I guess you can tell who you get on the back, right? All right. We got oh we got another sand photo card he's making up for all the times he did not show up in my fever part two albums <laughs> oh but i got the um lip ring sand i cannot complain with that <laughs> very cute i mean very badass not cute okay last photo card for this unboxing let's see we got Oh, how cute! That's such a cute card. I got another Mingi. So we, yeah, we unfortunately pulled uh, two of the same members. So not a huge variety in my pulls, but not bad. I'm kind of sad I didn't pull any Uno photo cards. I love that man so freaking much. It's not even funny. So of course I didn't get him. If there was a member I really love, the K-pop gods are like, sorry, you're not getting that member. Wow, we love this San and Mingi pairing. <laughs> So that was my unboxing of AT's Zero Fever Part 3. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. Bye!